All right, how's it going? Doing a little review slash unboxing of this Lauti Rock. I haven't really done many unboxings uh, videos yet. I just thought, think that the packaging is super cool. Lauti actually makes really uh, interesting packaging, so I figured I'd kind of show it off a little bit. But uh, yeah, so you've got the sleeve that goes over top of the box. Box just kind of pops open like that. And here you typically have your stickers and any tools. Uh, we've got this pick and this bearing. I'll talk about the pick in a minute. And, uh, and you've got your stickers in there. So uh, pretty cool. And then in here you've got your you've got your piece. It's usually in a piece of plastic, but I've already opened it. So got rid of that. Slide that off to the side and we'll talk about this piece a little bit. So this came in several different uh, metal combinations. So I saw it in brass, titanium, zerk, uh, most of the time uh, brass, most of the time it was like a combination of the two where it would be like the body would be, you know, stainless and then this would be zerk or vice versa. But it definitely came in several different uh, metal combinations. And it's meant to be a, like look like a guitar pick basically. That's why it's called the rock. So it's got like these little flared edges here and I bet you could probably even use this as a guitar pick a little bit too. Um, but it, it, I love the design, it's super cool. Um, let's talk about these, these edges here. Like I like how these edges give you a lot of room to be able to like get a really solid grip and then, then you can rip it. So you can really rip this one. Um, I, I love when you can get a good good rip on a piece like this. Uh, as far as feedback, sound, all that type of stuff, so it's relatively quiet. And I've been getting into some of the classic pieces recently that have a lot more feedback and, and, and sound, which I, I think I really, really like. So, you know, this piece is pretty quiet, which, you know, it's not an issue or anything, but um, I wouldn't say the quiet... Uh, the quiet styles really really suits me very much, but um, I'm sure I could change out the bearing if I wanted to to something louder. But one thing I should mention with this is I love the centripetal force on it. Like when you rotate it like this, it almost feels like it's floating. It's really hard to describe, but that's the best way that I could describe it. Like you really feel the weight move when you you know shift your wrist and kind of move it around a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Um, you could also flick this one so you can get a really good flick on it too And then I guess I can flip it around so you can see the opposite side and that that little inlay is super cool I love the engraving of the little rock there and then the stainless ring around it. I think that looks really sick and uh, Might as well take take it apart and kind of show what it looks like under the button here. So let's unscrew this and this and see what it looks like underneath. So you've got your, so this has another uh, retention system, which is kind of like this little ring that keeps the bearing in. I'm not sure, you know, how I feel about that. I don't really think it makes much of a difference at all. I just noticed that like a lot of pieces from China, like the Mackie uh, Fusion Review I did had this as well. And uh, oh, this reminds me of the, uh, of the pick from earlier. So the pick is actually used to, unscrew the retention so that you could get to the bearing so if i wanted to take this bearing out i would just kind of you know there's little grooves here and then you know you could unspin it and get to your bearing so that's really unique i, I like that i like how lauti seems to always put some sort of like little tool or something in your in your packaging which usually goes along with the piece so find that really interesting and then it came with another bearing so pretty cool uh, as far as reassembly, it's similar to the to the Fusion where you've got to put it back in the correct configuration or else it won't work. So I think I have it correct because I've actually put it together backwards a few times already. But um, yeah, so we'll just screw that back on and then kind of wrap up our thoughts. So yeah, this piece is super cool. Um, I, I love even the writing right there. You've got uh, Nico Design. Uh, 2099 Laudi product um, it's really cool um, as far as like uh, any negatives the only thing that I wish um, that it had it was maybe like some grooves here kind of in these sections so that I could like kind of stick my finger there to get a better uh, flick on it 
Um, either way, I'm still able to flick it pretty good. So I mean, that's probably a testament to design. It's it's it still works really well in that that fashion. But out of like most of the pieces I've tried, this is the one that I do this the most with. I'm always rotating this thing whenever I pick it up and mess with it. Like I'll send it on a rip and then just kind of start doing this for some reason. It's just that force feels really cool. Uh, to wrap up thoughts on this, um, to talk about would I sell it or would I keep it? Uh, so this piece I'm probably gonna sell and not because there's anything that is wrong with it or that I like hate about it It is pretty small. I guess I could say that it's a pretty small piece for my big hands, but um, I just been going kind of nuts lately with a lot of the classic spinners and um, You know, I'm just enjoying those a lot right now So that's kind of like my focus is chasing down like some of the older stuff um, as I'm new to this but you know, this would be a piece I would definitely be, you know, interested to keep maybe down the line or something like that when I'm building up more of my, uh, my Lauti stuff. I have a few things from them so far that I like, um, which I'll just drag this in real quick. We'll talk about this another time, but this is a Puffer Crash, uh, Lauti piece, which is sick. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm probably going to move on from this one, but, uh, Really great piece. I would I would recommend it to to just about anybody unless you don't like tri spinners. Um, but that's it. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching the video.